Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my August update to the Child of the 80s Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Jaylon. As always, all of that is linked down below. I have the playlist of everybody who's doing this project, as well as my playlist down there as well, so you guys can go check that out. So basically, Jaylon has come up with 40 prompts that are all about the 80s. Um, you just take one of the prompts, and then you choose an item to go with it. We are randomizing eight prompts at a time. It is a rolling project pan, and this does go to December 31st of this year. If you guys wanna join, please feel free to. Before I get into my update, let me tell you what I'm wearing on my eyes for the 365 days of eyeshadow today. I'm wearing the Juvia's Place, the bronze uh, rustic palette. So this is what this eyeshadow palette looks like, and I am wearing all six of these eyeshadows on my eyes today. So I started off with this one in my transition, deepened it up with this one, and then did this color in the outer V. So that's kind of how I did my uh, matte shadows. I did this deep kind of a reddy color underneath my eye. And then I have this one all over the eyelid, and this one I do have right underneath my lower lash line. Now I did mix this one on the top, um, on my lid with a little bit of Vermeer from my ABH Modern Renaissance palette because I have that as my inner corner highlight and I did blend that up onto the lid a little bit to make it um, a little bit more cohesive so I didn't just have a bright spot of color in the inner, inner corner of my eyelid. So this is the palette that I am wearing today for that eyeshadow challenge. So let's go ahead and get into my update. I will let you guys know what prompt I had what product I pick and how I've been doing. So the one that has been in here, there's a couple that have been here for a while. This one was rolled back in in April. This was the prompt Weird Science, an unusual product or an interesting formula. And for that, I rolled in my Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter. I have worn this one, how many times? Oh, I didn't do my totals, 82 times um, as of the last update and I have worn it an additional 26 times, and this is what it is looking like right now. As you can see, there is just the littlest bit right down here in the bottom um, section of the jar. This is actually starting to dry out. Let me see if I can show you guys. I mean, I can just easily push it around in here, but when it goes on, no, see, it's not doing it for you guys. <laughs> Here it went on super smooth, but it's getting dry to the point that when I try to put it on, it goes on really chunky. So I'm going to try to revive it if necessary and add in maybe a couple of drops of something. Not quite sure what I will do, um, but I'm going to may try to revive this. But um, I really think that this one will be empty next month. If it's too dried out and I can't revive it, then I'm just gonna go ahead and call it done. This does have 15 mils or half an ounce of product and I have used up so much of this. I'm not gonna be upset if that if, uh, last little bit has to be tossed because um, it's dried out. So I'm hoping that this one will be an empty for the next update. The next one that has been in here just as long was for the prompt, The Lost Boys, a black or vampy item. And for that, I chose my Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. As of the last update, I had used this one 81 times and I have used it an additional 26. And this is what it is looking like. So as you can see, it is super tiny. I do have my marks on my paper so you guys can see where I was last time. And now I am down to here. So I have finished off one of these pencils before. And I want to say the product goes down to about right here. So this one might be an empty for the next update. We will have to see. If not the next update, it will be empty the one after that for sure. The next one that I rolled in was for the prompt 16 candles, a product that makes all of your dreams come true. And for that, I rolled in my Milani Make It Last setting spray. As of the last update, I had used it, let's see, 18 times and it was down to here. I used it 12 more times and it is completely finished. So I did get 30 uses out of this. I think you guys can see by my starting line, I might have used this two or three times before that, maybe. So I got about 30 uses out of this and this one is gone. So we will be rolling in a new prompt uh, at the end. Next one is Betamax, a small but mighty product. I was working on my Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Glossé. 
I had used this one 17 times as of the last update. So I was to here. So it started right here, 17 uses, and it was all the way down to here. I have used it an additional 31 times and it is completely empty. I dug out every bit I could get out of there. I wear this as a lipstick. I wear it as a cream blush. I'm wearing it as both today. And if you guys remember last update, I did roll in a second one because this one was going so fast. So even though this one is finished, this prompt is not done because I am working on a second one. So for this one, it was brand new when I rolled it in. Again, this is it. I used it 18 times and I am down to here. So I do still have a little bit to go, but I think this one will might be an empty next month. If not, it'll be pretty dang close to being empty as well. That's gonna be my goal is to try to finish this one over the next month. The next prompt that I rolled in was, uh, we're gonna pump you up. And this is a product with a pump. So I chose to work on my Flower Beauty foundation. I'm wearing this today. I love the Flower Beauty Foundation. It is an incredible formula. Um, this one, I, oops, I wrote, flipped my paper too early. <laughs> this one I had used eight times over the last, since the last update, I've used it 12 more times. I think I'm still up here. It may be lower. I cannot really see through this packaging. This is just a guesstimate. So we'll just go with the weights on this one. So far I have used this one 20 times in this project and I absolutely love this foundation. Now I can flip it over. <laughs> so next prompt is how rude and expensive product. And for that I rolled in my Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream. Got it right here. This is a BoxyCharm item. This is valued at $125. I have only used this one six times. You can see a little bit of progress up here at the top, but it's really difficult to see. Um, I am rotating between this and another night cream that I'm trying to work on. This one is in metal packaging, as you can see, and I can't stand metal packaging because you squeeze the littlest bit out and you, you know, get it on your finger. And before you can even get the lid on, there's more just coming out of the tube. Drives me nuts, but I've used this six times. It's an okay product. Is it worth 125 bucks? I highly doubt it. I, I've only used it six times, but... I really don't think any skincare is worth over $100. The next prompt is, I've fallen and I can't get up, a product you gave into buying. And for that, I rolled in my ColourPop Creme Gel Color in the shade Stew. It is a brown cream eyeliner. I am actually wearing it today. Um, my goal is to use this 30 times, I ha and I have used it 11 times. So this is what it is looking like. It was in a previous project, so it did have previous use on it. So I have 11 uses, so I have 19 more uses to go on this one before I can roll it out. And then the final one uh, is lace, something that is sheer, and I decided to roll in this lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I rolled this in last update and I have used it 13 times. I am actually wearing it today. And as you guys can see, there is a pretty big bubble right here through the packaging. These go super fast. There's only two grams of product in here. This one is really pretty. It is a sheer color, but it has a little bit of a pinky shift to it. So that's the lip gloss right there. So it is, um, it is a nice formula. I do enjoy the ABH formula. So I'm gonna keep working on that one. We will see if I can get it done. I am trying to work on, sorry, I'm doing a lip swatch of, a, of the Bite Beauty Glossé. Forgot to give you guys a swatch of that one right there. Um, we'll see if I get this one done. I am working on a couple other lip glosses. I'm always working on multiple lip glosses at the same time. So we'll see uh, if I'm able to finish this one before the next update. Um, yeah, so let's roll in another prompt. I have taken all of the prompts out that I've already worked on, and I've also, um, the ones that I finished and the ones that I'm currently working on, I should say, and I have 11 prompts left. I have taken them all out of the list so that I don't keep rolling prompts that I've already worked on or gotten before, um, just to make it easier on myself. So I have my pretty random up from one to 11. And I got prompt number 10, which is gonna be different from what it was on the original list. So prompt number 10 is light bright, something that makes your skin shine from within. So I will pick that out and be right back. 
All right, that was pretty easy. As soon as I got that prompt, I instantly knew what I wanted to roll in. And this is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I got this as a gift with purchase. I have used one of these before. I, I use this in my 50 Shades of Pink and I absolutely love this. If Glam Glow was cruelty free, I would buy this again. It's a moisturizer that has just the smallest amount of sheen to it and it does give you that um, natural glow. So this is it right here. I got a little bit too much, but it does have a really pretty shimmer. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I think this formula is amazing. So my goal is going to be to finish using this one up. I'm gonna take my time because I, again, I am working on other moisturizers, but I will work this one in a couple times a week, see how much progress I can make between now and the next update. So my predictions for the next update, I really think I can have this eyeliner done. Um, I'm going to try to finish off this Bite Beauty Glossé uh, lipstick. This Farsali, this one is most likely going to be done as well. And if I really put my mind to it, I can probably have my last 19 uses on this one for the next update. This is a nice neutral color. It goes with a lot of different eye looks, so I can probably get this one done as well and maybe this lip gloss. So I'm hoping that next month will be a pretty exciting update for you guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I typically film this video on the 8th. I bumped it up a day to the 7th because tomorrow I have a brand new Project Pan introduction that I will be doing. So if you guys don't wanna miss out on my new Project Pan or my update for this project for next month, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.